YouTube. 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 It's Ben. Hey, I get a lot of questions about the G85 and the GX85, so I thought I'd do my first Q&A on my YouTube channel. Ever. Hopefully this video will be really helpful for you. First question comes from Lorenz Widenman. Widenman? Widenman? What profile picture do you recommend and do you change sharpness and saturation or noise reduction on the profile? I usually shoot video and photo in natural color mode. I just think it has the most natural reproduction of the way colors actually look to the naked eye. I think both the G85 and the GX85 capture color very beautifully at just the normal natural setting. I don't change the sharpness. I don't change any highlights or shadows. I shoot in 4K, 24 frames per second, continuous autofocus on, eye dynamic set to off, eye resolution set to off. That's pretty much it. Super duper freakify says, which lenses do you use mostly and which can you recommend? I did a video recently with all the lenses that I use. I'm shooting right now with the 14 millimeter f2.5 lens with a wide angle conversion lens on top of it, making it about 11 millimeters. My favorite lenses are probably the Panasonic 12 to 35 millimeter f2.8. It's got a great wide angle. It's got a little bit of a zoom. Another lens I really love is the Pancake 20 millimeter f1.7 lens from Panasonic. It's under 300 bucks. You get that nice f1.7. It's got great bokeh, bokeh, bokeh. I still can't pronounce that damn word. Can somebody just tell me how to pronounce it? Another great lens is the 25 millimeter f1.7 lens. That is an awesome lens and it's under $300 as well. So highly recommend those lenses. Dan Cheb says, how do you focus? Auto single point or auto screen press or manual with follow focus? I use auto focus most of the time. If I'm doing this kind of video where I'm talking to the camera, I usually use either face tracking or just auto focus tracking. I think auto focus tracking is actually the way to go because I can actually move forward and I can move backward a little bit and usually it does a pretty good job of following my face. The only thing about that mode is if you turn to the left and then come back you might actually lose the focus from your face so you just have to go to the touch screen press the area that you want to be in focus again and then it'll try and track that and it does a pretty good job with that if you have pretty good lighting. Panasonic isn't really known for their autofocus systems there's definitely some room for improvement though the GH5 has gotten a lot of press recently for having an improved autofocus system but there has been some hashtag photo drama about the GH5 and their autofocus system. Pete Wong says, how about battery life between the two cameras? Battery life is pretty good. One battery on the G85, if I'm shooting continuously, it'll probably last at least three or four hours. But if I'm kind of shooting just little clips here and there, that battery has lasted me all day and sometimes two or three days of shooting. If you're gonna be shooting all day with video and photos or just video, I would definitely recommend getting a couple extra batteries. I got a couple off-brand batteries from Amazon for pretty cheap. I do hear that Panasonic has Sony by the nuts when it comes to battery life. Hi Head TV, you look a lot like Joe from Just Kidding News, LOL. I don't know what you're talking about. Pathless Pedaled says, what mic are you using? I use the Rode Video Micro. You get a lot of bang for your buck with this mic. It's only $60. It even comes with a dead cat, so it'll block a lot of wind noise that comes into the microphone. It's a really great starter microphone, and I would say even semi-professional level microphone. It's definitely better than the internal microphone in the G85. There's no mic input on the GX85, so you're stuck with the internal mic. I shoot most stuff with the G85 because it does have the microphone input, and it has the flip around screen, so I can see what hell I'm doing. Magnus from Sweden says, which microphone amp settings did you use on the camera when you use the video micro? When it's plugged in, I usually have the audio mic gain level set to zero because it does a pretty good job just plug and play, but I do set the mic limiter to on. And what the mic limiter does is if I have a sudden burst of sound, it'll actually dampen the audio down so it doesn't have these areas of clipping and you won't have really loud distorted areas of your sound. I light the stage 37 says, how do you set these longer shutter times under G85. I can only get up to one second shutter times. And he's referring to a video that I did about long exposures. All you have to do is turn silent mode to off. And you should be able to do 60 second exposures and even bulb mode so you can do really long exposures. The last question comes from Snoop J. Can the G85 do astrophotography? Yes, it can. What you're gonna need is definitely a really good tripod and a lens with a low aperture such as the 20 millimeter f1.7 or a nice wide angle like the 7 to 14 millimeter f4. If you do do astrophotography, if you do, if you do do. 
If you do astrophotography, you definitely have to use a setting in your camera that allows for noise reduction for long exposures, or else you might get a little red artifacts in your long exposure. It does add a little processing time to each photo, but it's definitely worth it to reduce the noise and your pictures will look gorgeous. So that's all the questions I have for now. If you have any more questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope it was helpful. Don't forget to leave me a beefy thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. video. If you do do astrophotography, if you do, if you do do.